Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today I'm doing my fourth part for my Halloween makeup week. So if you might have noticed or you mightn't have, I am doing a Halloween tutorial every day for a week, to e which equals to seven tutorials. And this is number four. If you haven't seen number 3201, I will link that down below, as well as my Instagram, which is underscore makeuplook.xo. You might want to check that out just in case you want to see behind the scenes kind of stuff. So for today's tutorial, as you mightn't have already read in the title, I'm doing kind of a big cat kind of makeup. I did find this on Pinterest, so I will insert a picture right here to what I want to kind of go for. I did say this and I did really like it and want to recreate it or add my own little twist to it. If you do know the creator's name, do comment her name down below so we can give her a little bit of a shout out. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to stop yabbering and we're going to dive straight in to the makeup. So the first thing, I'm going to dive into my spray and give my, you know, face a spray as I do love that spray so much. I have a very clean beauty like space today. Like it is so clean and like not untidy. It's actually insane. Ignore my hair. Like it is so bad and I just had to chuck it up into a bun. So do ignore it and these little pieces. I don't know what it's doing today. What will I dive into? Will I dive into a foundation or a concealer? I'm going to take my Revolution Stick Foundation in the colour C3 and I'm going to use this as a concealer as I would like see my ordinary foundation or anything like that. Just like put it in my T-zone in places where I might need some coverage. I'm going to spray my Beauty Blender with my spray and start blending it all in. I would love to know which Halloween makeup you are doing for Halloween or if you're doing like maybe one of mine I'm going to follow one of my tutorials I would love to know and find out because I have really enjoyed filming this series and I definitely want to do it next year now like I have just decluttered loads of makeup and well not loads but I've like organized all of my makeup so I'm just like Yes, I can get this and I can get this and I know where things are and it's amazing. I'm going to dip into my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm going to use my all-time powder brush, this angled fluffy brush, and just brush that everywhere. Now... I'm going to, next I'm going to bronze my face up using my all time favourite Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I'm running out of this really bad and I'm going to dip into a more angled brush or the brush that I, well that came with the Hoola Bronzer and this is really to kind of get kind of like that sharp placement, you know, and then we'll blend it out with my normal blendy brush because when I think of like and this probably sounds weird but like do you know when you think of like cats I think of kind of harsh jawlines I'm also going to do it on my forehead I never actually thought like contouring work that's why I never do it but I'm kind of living. I'm gonna take this very packed, dense, angled brush and I'm just gonna slightly blend that out because it still is angled, but I'm just blending it out so it kind of softens it. I'm then gonna brush it over my nose using that same brush. I'm then gonna take a little bit of powder. So for example, this powder, I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender, pack it in and carve out the nose contour. And obviously just a touch 
line going down the middle because I really want that cat nose to kind of be snatched. Brush it away using my powder brush. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to take a cream blush just to get a little bit of pop on the cheeks. I don't hardly ever do this, this is new for me. I'm going to take the Clinique Chubby Stick in the colour Robust Rhubarb and this is very pink so I'm going to do a little swirl on my hand. Love that contour. I'm going to take this brush which is like a flat topped packed brush and I'm going to dip into the colour and I'm very slightly just going to put it here. I'm not going to put it on the apples. I'm going to do it on the, the cheekbone bit here just above where I put that contour. And these are like really nice cream blushes. You can see I'm just patting it in, not really too much. Put a little bit on my forehead a little bit, just so it kind of blends in. Like that. What will I do next? My eyebrows. So I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I'm just going to brush them out with the spoolie. I have absolutely no idea where I have put my pomade. But anyways, we're just going to use my MUA brow kit that I love and adore. With this angled eyebrow brush. And I'm just going to draw my eyebrows on normal today. That's a nice eyebrow. I'm going to set the brows with my Pixie Clear Brow Gel. I nearly have like almost, this is gone. And this is one of my absolute all time favorites. Right, time for the eyes. So I wanna do a transition shade. So I think I'm just gonna use my Hula bronzer as a transition shade and I'm going to use this fluffy angled face eye brush and I'm just going to dip into it and start blending I'm just going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it not like in the crease just on kind of like the bone there and then kind of bring it into the crease and into the bridge of the nose. Then maybe with the side of the brush, just fluff it out. Perfect. I'm then gonna go into a liqueur palette. This is like a supermarket's own makeup brand. And it honestly, I was watching this in my declutter yesterday and it like is really good so I'm gonna use that today I'm gonna use it on a fluffy brush like this one and I'm gonna take this color right here just to deepen up the part that we've just done first of all I'm just gonna pack it on before I start blending you want to make it like dark and kind of there but you don't want to make it too dark if you know what I mean you just kind of want to make a transition colour. I'm then going to go into this Naked 3 brush and blend this all out. Now for the black eyeshadow. What I'm going to take is this Avon Glimmer Stick in the colour Blackest Black. This is the pencil that we're going to use. And I'm just going to start by sketching out the like cut crease kind of. I'm then going to take it and draw a line in like that. I'm then going to take this palette from Too Faced. This is, this came in the set with the I believe in pink palette that I've used quite a few times on this channel um, but I'm going to go into this because I know Too Faced shadows are amazing 
So I'm going to take No Peaking, which is like black, and I'm just going to pack that just above that eyeliner so we can blend it out. Be careful when you go in because it might go too close to your nose and we don't want that. I'm then going to take that naked brush and I'm going to go back into that um, naturals palette and I'm going to take the brown colour that we took and blend out the black with that colour. I'm going to take more of that but I'm going to take it on an angled brush now blending out the shadow taking your time to really make that edge as smooth as possible I'm then going to take a totally clean brush and try and blend that away just a little bit kind of worked. I'm going to keep building up the black. I think that looks okay. I'm going to cut the crease now and I'm going to take some of the Revolution foundation stick and I'm going to take the other end of that Naked 3 brush and just carefully cut out a neat line in the crease. And by the way, we're going to cut the full eye. Okay, I think this is looking promising. Hmm, I don't know what to do first. I don't know if to do glitter then eyeliner or liner then glitter. Right, so I'm going to do my liner then I'm going to do glitter. Right, I'm going to take my Ico eyeliner and I'm going to do a little wing. By the way, I'm bringing that eyeliner in like we did with the black eyeshadow. Hey, that eyeliner is pretty dang good. Might be biased, but... So at the front here, I have done like the line of that black eyeshadow and line of that eyeliner. And then in the middle, we're going to do glitter. I'm going to take some eyelash glue and I'm just going to coat the start of my eye first I'm just gonna do the start first because it can dry I'm then gonna take this lip brush that I used glitter before and this sparkly gold to make it go on I had to like scoop it up and do kind of get a brush and just flick it off your eyelashes or anywhere and you're just gonna continue And then just gonna kind of flick it off. I'm going to take my super fun night palette again and I'm gonna take the black colour on like this eyebrow eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna pull it under all the way. I'm gonna take a little smudgy brush so I'm gonna take the Naked 3 brush to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to dive back into the Too Faced Super Fun Night palette and I'm going to take the colour Lucky Star which is this shimmery champagne colour and I'm just going to highlight the brow bone but it's a really pretty brow bone colour I'm just going to blend it back out with that fluffy brush, like the black bit out because we've kind of lost the smokiness when we've highlighted the brow bone. I'm going to take this L'Oreal Super Liner and it's like a goldish colour um, and I hardly ever use it. Well it's like a goldy. I don't know if you can see but it has to have like gold specks in it and I'm just going to go underneath my eyes with this. 
So it's kind of added that tiny little bit more precision under the eyes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the other eye and chuck on some mascara. I might do lashes, I'm not too sure. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chuck on some mascara, some lashes, I'm gonna do the other eye, and I'll be right back. So the eyes are done. Now we need to move on to the face part of the cat. So first of all, I'm gonna take the liner brush and the um, black eyeshadow and I'm gonna start by drawing in the tip of the nose. And with my naked three eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna um, color it in. And with the little angled brush, I'm just gonna draw a little. I am then going to draw the whiskers, which I believe are like round about here. And I'm gonna do the little dots as well. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I am then gonna outline my lips with the black eyeshadow and the same liner brush and fill them in. I'm gonna use my naked brush for this. I am then gonna take my eyelash glue once again. And this is the finished look. Okay everyone, so this is the final look all completed. I am actually proud of how it's turned out. I think the glitter just ties everything in and just makes it more elegant and more, you know. I would like to know which Halloween tutorial is your favourite so far, so do comment that down below. This is obviously the fourth one, so if you want to go and watch the other three, I will link that down below as well, as well as my Instagram, which is underscore makeuplove.xo. Please go and like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in the future. So without further ado I'm gonna end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everyone!